Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Adam Ziliax. I want to thank you for joining us this afternoon for our webinar. Um, today, we are going to be having Heman Mehta, who is our VP of our product side of the organization, going through uh, our Deep Freeze Cloud Connector stuff with you today. I'll be manning the chat system here and uh, looking for any questions that come up uh, or any, uh, any information that you uh, are looking for. So please feel free to throw that into the questions section as we go through. And we'll get answers to those as uh, as we can. And uh, I'm going to pass over to Heman to start the webinar. Heman. Thank you, Adam. Hi, everyone. Thanks, everyone, for uh, joining us today. We are uh, recording this session. So if for whatever reason you want to reference this, uh, we will be sending out the recording to you later on, um, probably early next week. So uh, I do have a lot to cover today. Um, the primary objective is that uh, to tell you all about how uh, you can leverage our Cloud Connector product um, to connect your workstations up to defreeze.com. And um, also wanted to explain to you what some of the differences are between the Enterprise Console and uh, Deep Freeze On Demand. Deep Freeze On Demand is the functionality that allows you to uh, manage it from the browser. Um, after that, I want to show you exactly uh, what happens when you connect your Enterprise Consoles or Console up to uh, the cloud and um, how you can get more uh, control over your user management uh, th through that platform. As well, I'll show you our uh, mobile app that we have uh, to manage these um, uh, solutions and deployments. And um, I'll go into some of the additional services that we have to offer um, so that you can manage everything from a single pane of glass. All right, so uh, let's get right into it. Uh, again, just like Adam said, uh, we want this to be a learning uh, webinar for you. So should you have any questions whatsoever, uh, feel free to ask us during chat and uh, we will try and get them answered as well. And uh, towards the end, maybe we'll repeat some of those answers for the greater audience. So what is Cloud Connector? Essentially what uh, Cloud Connector allows you to do, it is a um, subscription service, which is a, an additional cost to your Deep Freeze Enterprise. Um, but the beauty of this product is that you don't have to do anything. Um, you essentially have your enterprise consoles implemented throughout your environment. Uh, let's say you have four or five enterprise consoles. You can actually then connect all of them up to the defreeze.com um, platform, uh, which we call defreeze cloud. As well, 99% um, of the customers who are Deep Freeze Enterprise customers already have Deep Freeze Cloud credentials. Um, so what I will show you today is exactly how you can get your uh, cloud credentials so that you can um, you know, connect your console up and try out the connector product for 30 days. So how does it work? How do you activate your cloud connector? Uh, when you enter your license key in your enterprise console, you will see this uh, blue cloud icon uh, show up in, in your toolbar. When you click on this, uh, tool, this icon, and I'm sure a lot of you have probably clicked on it, um, you get this um, pop-up that says, uh, enable management from the web via DeFreeze Cloud Connector. Um, if you do not have your credentials, and again, you most likely have credentials if you're a DeFreeze Enterprise customer, uh, you can click on that blue link in the bottom that says, email me my credentials. And when you click on that, a pop-up will show up and it will ask you for your email address. Once you do that, you simply enter your customization code for the Enterprise Console, Enter, enter the cloud credentials that you just got. The credentials you get will basically be a password reset email that you will get. And then you set your password and you're good to go. All right. Um, if that doesn't work for whatever reason, then you can contact us and we can get you started on it within a minute or so. It's simply a matter of us checking a box in the back end. 
So um, you're probably wondering what are the differences between the Enterprise Console and the DeFreeze Cloud Console. Uh, we have strived to actually have feature parity between the Enterprise Console and the DeFreeze On Demand page that we have in uh, DeFreeze.com. Um, so you will notice that uh, I, I would say every single feature that you have available to you in the Enterprise Console is available to you uh, in the Cloud Console. As well, of course, you get the web-based management and all the additional services that we have to offer uh, and uh, user permission management as well. So I'll walk you through that during the uh, demo section. So every time you connect your Enterprise Console, it does create an independent site. So a site is a silo. It's a secure silo of all your devices. So what that allows you to do is it allows you to designate different users per site if you wanted to. Um, you can even create, uh, under user management, you can even create a defreeze limited administrator. Um, and that administrator will basically have limited rights to your console. Um, so all they will see is the defreeze on demand page, which will allow them to view all their defreeze machines. And you can even say which groups of computers can this person see. Um, so it's, it's that granular uh, where you can say that um, as the person in logistics can only see the logistics department and um, as well, that person can only perform the following actions. So under actions, you have the option to check whether they're able to freeze a machine, thaw it, restart it. Every single action that's available to you in the console can now be granularly uh, given out to your users. So some of the cloud uh, connector services that you have available to you uh, include uh, Data Igloo, software updater. So Data Igloo, as you may know, um, allows you to redirect your um, files, folders, and registry keys to a thawed partition or thawed drive on that uh, computer. Um, so you know, you're used to the standard version of Data Igloo. This essentially will allow you to do everything from one uh, single place and, and then simply apply it to all your workstations. Software Updater is our patch management solution, which will allow you to install or update uh, up to more than 75 plus, uh, 75 products, uh, which includes things like Chrome, Firefox, uh, VLC, Java, what have you. Um, so I'll show you that as well. Uh, some of you um, are likely familiar with our anti-executable product, which is our whitelisting product. Uh, that has come a long way since you may have seen it last. So it even has an audit mode, which I'll talk to. Uh, we have WinSelect, which is basically our group policy solution, where if you don't want to tinker around with group policies, you have this um, user interface where you can manage the look and feel of the workstation. As well, we have a solution called CloudSync. Um, CloudSync essentially allows you to sync your user data to their um, preferred cloud drive. So I'll speak to that as well. Essentially, if you don't want to have thaw spaces on, the, on that machine and you want the user to um, save everything onto their cloud drive without having to sync everything, you can do that. Then we have Use it Stats, which is our asset management product. We have PowerSave, which is our power management solution. And then, of course, we have our antivirus solution um, that integrates perfectly with DeepFreeze. So let's walk into some of these services so you understand um, what are some of the options that will be available to you uh, um, when you do connect your enterprise console up to DeepFreeze.com. So, like I said, Data Igloo allows you to redirect your folders, your user profiles, and your registry keys. And um, it's much more seamless than uh, what you may be used to with Data Igloo um, because it is part of the cloud agent. And essentially, when you apply a policy on a workstation, we install our cloud agent on that computer and then any of the services that you enable in there. 
software updater. Um, essentially, you can you know select which applications you want to install on that machine or update. Uh, and you can even specify things like if it's not installed on the machine, do not install it, just update it. Uh, you can say things like remove all shortcuts or uh, prevent automatic updates for these apps because obviously if you have defreeze on those machines, it's no point updating those apps when the machine is frozen. Um, so you can choose to do that and then we will update all these apps during a scheduled maintenance period that you specify in your cloud console. You may be asking what about my third party uh, products or my custom applications that I have in my environment, what do I do with that? Uh, we do have a software deployment solution for that as well in our, our product where you can actually create a package and then distribute that package to your workstations um, from um, within the console itself. Anti-executable. So, um, you know, anti-executable is our whitelisting solution, which essentially will go in and authorize everything that's on the machine. That's how it used to be. It still lets you do that. It lets you authorize everything on a clean machine. But uh, what a lot of our customers asked us for was for the ability to audit the environment first. Um, so now you can actually run anti-executable in your environment in an audit mode, which is a listen-only mode, where it will report back to you, let you know what are some of the applications that are being run in your environment. And then you go ahead from there and create a control list and decide whether you want to block or allow certain applications. Once you feel confident enough that you've built a solid control list, you can go ahead and enable anti-executable and then prevent any unknown um, executables from ever running as well as enforce your control list on those machines. So there is a full uh, dashboard that will uh, be your control center for anti-executable. Um, so you can uh, check that out if you like. The other service we have, uh, which one of our oldest products actually, which is WinSelect. WinSelect um, is, uh, gives you the ability to essentially manage your group policies on those machines. Um, so if you want to, for example, uh, remove the video folder or the uh, Windows Store app on, on the computer, you simply check a box and we will go ahead and remove it on that uh, machine. You can even con turn that machine into a kiosk where everything is locked down and the user can only do like two or three things. Uh, this is the CloudSync product I briefly talked to you about. Um, so this solution was designed with um, multi-access environments. Um, what this lets you do is it allows you to not store any files on the computer. When the student logs in or when your end user logs in, um, a lot of customers put it on mobile devices um, where you know these devices are in, in, in the wild and you don't want um, data just sitting on that machine. Um, so what this allows you to do is ask them for their Google Drive or Dropbox or OneDrive uh, uh, credentials. And when they enter it, um, any files that they have in their Dropbox, for example, will display in this Windows Explorer interface. And when they click on, let's say, a Word document, it will download that Word document, let them um, edit it, change it, whatever they want. Once they close it, it's going to get uploaded back up to their drive. Um, and all this is stored in a, a quote-unquote thaw space so that if the machine were to be randomly restarted, then they're not going to lose that information until we complete um, it's the, the sync process. Once we sync that document and we know it's not being used anymore, we're going to delete it off that workstation for you. Um, so a very neat concept. A lot of customers are loving it. So uh, do try it out if you have that uh, pain of having to back up your network drives and you know having to uh, provide uh, multiple users access to a single computer. 
Use it stats is our asset management solution. So you can do things like figure out what your top utilized applications are, you know, what are some of the, uh, how often are users using your workstations? What are some of the peak times uh, they're using your machines? It essentially allows you to make informed decisions. Um, one of my customers uh, was saying that, um, you know, he was asked to install this application and environment and on many, many more computers. So he had to buy more licenses for it. All he had to do is go in here and then he was able to quickly show that only three or four users were using that application and there was no need to buy 15 more licenses for that application. So essentially make informed decisions and uh, get a better handle of what's going on in your environment. PowerSave is our smart, uh, non-disruptive energy management solution. Again, PowerSave as well has an audit mode, so if you want to run it in your environment just to see how much money uh, you can potentially save, uh, you can do that. And then a lot of customers are actually able to make a business case that says um, to their energy manager that, look, if I can save you X number of dollars, will you give me half of it to pay for this product, for example? And basically you can show a quick return on investment um, for a solution like this. Uh, we do have an award-winning antivirus solution. Recently, the VB100 test uh, that we did again on it uh, came, out, came back with a score of 87%. Uh, it does include firewall protection. It is uh, powered by the Bitdefender uh, engine. And um, again, it integrates seamlessly with DeepFreeze. So on a frozen machine, the virus definitions will stick on that computer um, so that um, they're not always getting removed on restart. Or you don't have to do more work trying to um, thaw the definition files for your antivirus, if that is possible. Um, Scan QR code. So I, uh, there is a, a mobile app which I'll talk to you about, and that mobile app will allow you to scan um, your QR code on that machine, and um, essentially allow you to install a client on that machine or even um, load the admin console. So it will automatically enter your password in the admin console and load it up for you in case you have someone looking over your shoulder. Uh, or if you're trying to find that computer, you don't know what the computer is you essentially you know click control alt shift f7 you clan you scan the qr code and uh, automatically that machine will show up in your uh, mobile device and you'll be able to then freeze or thaw or do whatever else you need to do on that machine the other thing i wanted to let you all know is um you know if you are a defreeze customer already and you are uh, now investing in iPads or Android devices, uh, you can essentially use our mobile device management solution and manage all your devices from one single platform. Um, our iOS offering, for example, has a device enrollment program um, functionality in it. So if you buy your devices from Apple, you can essentially, whenever they are started, you can essentially uh, program them to show up in our uh, MDM solution right away. Uh, we also have the volume purchase program supported. So should you have um, the need to purchase uh, apps in bulk and then distribute them to your uh, devices, you can do that. And uh, for those who have Android, we do have Android for Work support as well as Samsung Safe um, support. Uh, so the, some of the things you can do is over the air configuration settings, remote device wipe, and also uh, inventory tracking and management. It is very intuitive. So we did talk to our customer base um, to understand exactly the functionality that they're looking for. And we did not make it too feature heavy, only because we wanted to make sure the product is fast and efficient and you're able to understand and get to the functionality that you're really looking for. Um, so do give it a try if you have any mobile devices in your environment.
And this is the slide I want to show you, which is our Defreeze Administrator app. Um, so if you are now connecting your um, enterprise computers up to the defreeze.com, you can now download the um, apps uh, from the, either the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store, and then you can actually, from there, manage all your devices and perform um, actions on them. We do have uh, several case studies, but this was one I wanted to highlight uh, where uh, St. Edwards University connected all their um, computers up to uh, defreeze.com. So do check it out when you have a chance. Um, so I do want to get right into the demos um, and uh, show you exactly how it all works. So just give me one second and let me uh, get right into it for you. All right, so you must see my um, enterprise console there, and there's all my machines here. Uh, when you enter your license key, you're able to see this cloud icon on the very top. It's a white uh, white uh, icon. When you click on it, essentially, will ask you to enter your uh, customization code to uh, make sure that the right person is doing this, and then. Um, you can enter your credentials, and this is what uh, link I was telling you about, which is email me my credentials. So if you enter your email here, we will send you your credentials um, yeah, within seconds to your inbox. So I'm just uh, re uh, reconnecting my console, so it will ask me if I wanted to connect it to a particular uh, site that's right now offline, or you can choose to create a new site as well. All right, so I'm going to click on this, click on connect, and when I click on OK, it will take me to defreeze.com. Okay, so if you uh, don't have your credentials, you can click that, or you can click on start your free trial, and you can click on for existing defreeze customer. So when you click on that, you can even enter your email address here and request your credentials. Okay. So I'm just going to log in here and it will load up my home page. And then I'm going to just go to my deep freeze page. So here, what I did was, on the top right corner, if you look at it, the the site name is Desktop OMPCT. This, this is my enterprise console site. Um, and then when I selected that, it takes me into Defreeze On Demand. And now I can see all my machines that we just saw in my enterprise console. OK? So from here, you can do everything that you want to. You can select your workstations and then choose to wake them up, restart them, uh, shut them down, reboot them, thawed, locked, uh, you know, format the thaw space, anything and everything that you're used to today. Uh, in addition to that, you can even tag the machines. Um, so you can have multiple types of tags. So um, I can have... Uh, Vancouver tag, for example, here, and it's a location tag, right? So I can have location tags, I can have a normal tag, um, and then I can even have a ticket tag where I can say broken computer, and then it can create tickets. So what I also want to show you was the My Enterprise Console option on top. And this is where all your different enterprise consoles will show up. And it will show you the status of it, what version you're running, and how many computers you have um, in there. Okay? So that's your My Enterprise Console. From there, what I wanted to show you was the Computers page. So the Computers page is meant for all your computers. So Defreeze On Demand is anything that's connecting up from your cloud console, from your enterprise console, sorry. 
And the computers page will let you manage uh, the rest of your machine. So for deep freeze, you go to deep freeze on demand uh, because they're all connected up from the enterprise console. And for the rest of your services right here, you can manage it from here, right? So let's say you have anti-executable or antivirus or power save, you can manage everything from here. Right now, there's a hollow cloud because the cloud agent is not installed because I just connected everything up. But when I apply a policy to these machines, you'll be able, we will automatically install the cloud agent on those uh, computers and then apply that policy on that machine. Um, so let's go to the um, policy page to show you what that interface looks like. So we have a deep freeze, uh, sorry, a, a Mac policy, which has deep freeze Mac in it. So now you can actually manage your Mac uh, deployment for your deep freeze from this console as well. And everything will show up in one console. Uh, I'll click on the Phronix default, which is the Windows policy. And then you will see all the machines in here. Um, so here, of course, you don't see deep freeze because this is a connector account. If you did want to manage your deep freeze settings from here, you, you would simply ask us to create a pure cloud site, which does not have an enterprise console connected up. And then you can actually configure and manage your deep freeze from here as well. So we have Data Igloo in here. And whenever you click on Enable, you can, oh, I need to take this beta tag off of Data Igloo. So now, we have software updater here. And if I enable this again, and whenever I enable it, it's going to go ahead and install it on those machines. And then I can select which um, applications I want installed. And then under advanced options, I can even say update only if it's not installed, uh, disable the shortcuts, disable auto updates, um, and then uninstall the Java runtime. This is something different. The other thing is we also have a cache server. So if bandwidth is an issue for you, then you can set up this utility in your environment, probably on the same machine that your enterprise console is installed on. And then this uh, cache server will download both your uh, antivirus and your software updater definitions and uh, distribute it from within your local network. And then this is your software deployment where you can actually create your own package and uh, distribute it to the machines as well. Anti-executable has that uh, audit mode here. So you can choose to run through an audit mode and then you can step to three steps here. I am um, rushing through some of these features just for your information. But if you do want uh, a, a more detailed walkthrough, we're happy to, to do that for you on a on a one-on-one -on -one call. This is the Cloud Sync solution where essentially you can choose which um, provider you want to choose. You can enforce your organization's email address here as well, so they're only allowed to use authorized emails. Uh, you can allocate about five gigs, and this is the thaw space that we will create on the machine. And you can even choose to sync specific folders if you like. So anything that the user will store on that documents or your desktop folder will get synced up to the cloud. And then once it's synced up, it gets deleted. And then user stats uh, is there. And then the dashboard for user stats is over here on the top right. And uh, we have anti-bullying, which is essentially a notification solution, uh, which puts a, a little icon in the system tray and allows uh, students to report, whether it be bullying incidents or even IT support tickets, and then they get emailed um, to that user. All right. Uh, we have power save, and then we also have antivirus in there. All right, so that's the policies page. I did want to show you the maintenance tab here as well. So the maintenance tab is where we will go in and disable deep freeze for you um, if we detect deep freeze on that machine. And then uh, during that period, if you, for example, have software updater enabled, then we will perform the software updater tasks. Uh, even if you have data igloo, we will do the data igloo tasks 
during that controlled maintenance period that you set up. Okay, so that's the policies interface. I covered the maintenance for you. Um, maintenance you can run on demand as well on those machines. Uh, the next thing I want to show you was the user management section. So if you go to user management here, you can actually add users in here. And we also have Active Directory integration. Um, so if you don't want to have to uh, provide a different set of credentials to your users, we also have something called AD, and they can use their AD credentials to log into defreeze.com. All right, so um, if you add a new user here, this is what I was referring to where I can create a defreeze limited administrator, choose which site they're allowed to use, what group of computers they're allowed to use, um, and then what actions they're allowed to do. So by actions, I mean everything that DeepFreeze has to offer, which is reboot frozen, send message. What is that limited administrator allowed to do on that computer? Okay, so that's how you add a limited administrator. And then for sites, which you can designate here, you can also go to My Sites, and this is where you will see all your different sites. Okay. Then I want to show you the home page. The home page is the dashboard um, of the app itself. And of course, this is a brand new site we just created because we connected the console up, so we don't have much data in here. But essentially, you can look at it from here. I'll show you what the defreeze dashboard looks like so you have a better understanding of that. So here it is. This is what the defreeze dashboard looks like. And you can actually um, filter your machines by thawed, for example, and if they're in a certain group, right? And then essentially you will be able to see all the machines, select them, and then freeze them, thaw them, or perform any of the other actions on those machines from a single pane of uh, glass. So you can do it from defreeze on demand or from the defreeze dashboard itself. Um, up next, I want to show you the uh, mobile device management solution that we have as well. So for that, I have a different site. Uh, switch over to that, and I'll click on MDM. And then in there, we have a dashboard. shows you all the devices. If I click on devices here, um, it will show you different devices I have. You can um, send messages, lock them swipe, uh, select wipe them, or full wipe them. And then we have all these uh, policies in there as well, which allows you to choose what sort of restrictions you want to apply on those machines, whether you want to add any wallpapers or certain Wi-Fi connections. Um, and this is what the restrictions look like. This is the different apps you want to install on that device. You can do that as well. All right, and then under the apps page, uh, you can build your app catalog and you can basically search your apps. I'm showing you everything for iOS, but of course we have Android support as well. And then for the mobile app, the MD, uh, sorry, not the MDM, the uh, Defreeze Administrator app, you can go to the uh, Google Play Store, the Apple App Store, and uh, search for Deep Freeze Administrator mobile app and um, download it. And essentially, you can do all sorts of things like manage and uh, perform actions on those machines. That's it for the demo. Um, we have a ton more features in here, but these are some of the main features I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you exactly how you connect your enterprise console up and um, for next steps, uh, what I would suggest is we run through some of the questions that may come up. Um, I'll let uh, Adam uh, speak to that. All right, thanks very much, Eman. So we have had a couple of pretty good questions show up here. Um, <clears throat> And the first question was, what features are included with which versions of the software? So we do have 
two bundles for the product. Um, there is a premium bundle that includes a number of features. Uh, he managed just rolling back to a slide where we can show that. Oh, there we go. So in the premium bundle, you're getting Data Igloo, um, the software updater component that handles the predefined products, anti-executable, WinSelect, Cloud Sync, and uh, version of usage stats that just handles basic reporting of information from the clients. When we move into the ultimate version, we get the full software updater package that allows you to do your own packages, your own software, as well as a usage stats component that can track licensing and manage your deployment and over deployment of software. The anti-bullying and the power save component are included in that. Antivirus is always kind of a separate line item for us, but you know, our sales reps can put a quote together and put all of them in there for you if you're interested. Um, the next question we had was, what do I lose moving to the cloud stuff versus connector or pure cloud? Now, the answer is nothing. All platforms are equally capable and can do the same thing. There are some components that if you were looking to go to a pure cloud environment that will still require an on-premise component. Um, and there's a few differences in the way certain things are approached. So to change the password, in our pure cloud, you do a change to the policy as opposed to on the connector and deep freeze combination, you'd create an RDX file that you push to the end machines. Um, but the functionality, you can get to the same end result in either case. Um, a question has come up asking, does it include MDM or is it a, a fee per device? The MDM is priced as a separate component. Um, and if you're interested in the details on that, we can definitely get someone to follow up with you on that. Um, That's what these three look like. Yeah, and so what he meant showing right here is when we're, we've got a pure cloud option that's completely based from the web, and that's what we're showing you right here, where the deep freeze now gets brought into the cloud and becomes part of your policy. Uh, another question has come up, does it still require an enterprise console on the local LAN for each site? E not for each site, but you have to have an enter for the connector, you do have to have an enterprise console that connects to the cloud. If you wanted to move away from having anything on premise, as I said, we can look at what we call a pure cloud option at that point that does not require any of that to be around. Um, Will the webinar be made available later? Yep, we do intend to record this and post it online and send a follow-up email to everyone so it's out there for your reference. Um, and for a question on what versions of the Enterprise Console are supported. Now, we always recommend the latest build of the Enterprise Console across the board. Um, it's going to give you the best compatibility with everything out there. This feature does exist going back a little way. Um, 8.1 and up has it, personally from a support, compatibility, and just general performance standpoint. I strongly recommend not running it on anything prior to 8.3 or so, but again, my preference is for everyone to be on the 8.51 release that we have out there and running that. And let's see what else we have. Some features, software updater, for example, we might want to run against non-frozen computers. We can do that. Um, Simple as just putting the cloud agent on the machines and assigning a policy to the machine. So that is something that we can do and we're more than happy to lay out that option for you. Um, and can we get a licenses to use cloud connector with just a portion of our PCs and continue to use deep freeze for the labs per se? Um, there's some licensing concerns around that. So we probably get you to connect with your sales rep regarding that to get some more details on that particular one. Um, I think that covers most of the questions that we have. Um, oh, um, Mac o I uh, iOS integration. Um, so the iOS portion is handled through our MDM component, and that can be used to push apps to devices not so much as a self-serve type of option, but kind of like an assignment that you would give to the device as part of the policy. Um, I believe we may be doing an MDM webinar to get a little more detail on that. Uh, but if you specifically want to get a little more detail on that, feel free to just drop us a quick note in the chat and I can uh, 
grab that information and get our sales reps to reach out to you and follow up with a demo or whatever you need. Okay, I think that's all of our questions so far. So I'm gonna pass the mic back over to He-Man and he'll finish up. Excellent, thanks Adam. So uh, I hope you guys found this uh, an educational webinar. Um, you know, we've had this connector solution for a better part of uh, four or five years now. So um, we have a ton of customers on it. Uh, if you have any questions around how to best connect it, or if, if uh, you want anyone to walk you through anything, please do contact us. Um, but for you, essentially, the next step would be to click on that cloud icon, get your credentials, and try it out. Um, you have 30 days from the moment you connect your console up to the cloud to try it out. Um, so for your organization, um, if you have already tried it in the past and you want to try it again, you can also reach out to your account manager and we can extend your evaluation for it. If you have anything uh, that uh, we have not covered today or not answered, please contact us, us at support at phoronics.com or you can even hit, hit that uh, um, guy in the bottom right corner and chat with our, our, our staff. And if you have any feedback on our products, we have this bugle icon in the bottom right corner, which you can click and uh, join our uh, forum, our product forum, and we can uh, definitely take your feature requests, prioritize them, and we would love to hear from you and uh, get your votes on it. So thanks everyone for your time. I was trying to finish this in 40 minutes, which is uh, exactly now. Um, but uh, we will distribute this recording to everyone, and it was a pleasure connecting to everyone. Thank you so much for your time today. Have a good day.